Hi guys, in the last video we saw how to use decision statements to check a condition and make one or more actions. In this video we'll have a closer look at loops. I've only included two of them. For the sake of simplicity, I've used only for loop and while. Hopefully you can see this on your phones. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment everything and then I'm just going to uncomment the section we'll look at. So first let's look at the basic for loop. The way it works is you just write, uh, there's no brackets so Python simplifies the formatting which is why it's so simple to write a for loop. So if I run this it takes the range, it's six elements so it's zero to five, it's six elements so it prints from zero to five. Now here what we're doing is we're changing the start number instead of uh, range of zero, range of six prints all six numbers. Uh, this will print only f uh, only four. So if I play two, three, four, five from two, which is inclusive, to five. So let's comment that, and then now in the next section we'll be looking at changing the increment number. So here the number starts from zero, but it and prints up to twenty, but it only prints. In increments of 5. So if I play this one, so 0, 5, 10, 15. So 20 is not inclusive. Right now, moving on, uh, here we're, we're using another number. So we're using a number called num. Uh, we're giving it a value of 0. Um, and then we're writing a for loop while the variable i is in range. Uh, it's just going to add one number, which is i, to, to number. So each time it prints, whatever is in i plus zero so it technically prints just the value of i. So moving on, uh, here we're declaring a variable num and giving it a value zero and uh, we're gonna add i which is your iterator variable uh, which is in the range of zero to five and it gets added to num so the first time that it goes through this loop it prints zero uh, because i is also zero, so all of this becomes zero. The second time, um, num is given a value of one. The third time, it's given a value of one plus two, which is three. So you get zero, one, three, and so on. So if I just run this, so zero, one, three, six, ten. So each time, the value of i is added to num. Uh, very straightforward. That's good. Now just let's move on to the next one. This guy right here. So here. Uh, classic while loop so here you have to declare your own variable with for loop it manages the variable you don't have to declare or assign or increment all of that's managed that's which is why I like for loop because it's so easy so while it checks this condition I less than 5 it does the it takes these actions basically printing stuff here and at the end if you you have to increment I otherwise it'll end up being an infinite loop so I'll demonstrate that first, the working version. So there we have it. Now if I comment this section and then run this loop, you see it's printing zeros, it's going crazy. So I'm just going to stop. So you got to be very careful while using while loop. Um, so easy bet is to use for, it checks the condition, it creates a variable, assigns zero, or assigns, instantiates a variable, um, gives it a value, increments it through the loop, and then uh, terminates. So that's uh, loops in a nutshell. I think we got a pretty good idea of uh, for and while loops in Python. Please like and subscribe if you like this video, and feel free to ask me questions in comments, and you have a good day. Bye.